Yo, what's poppin', people? Thank you for watching my video. This time, I'm doing a segment on my BMW 325CI 2002. It's an E46. This is my daily driver. Unfortunately, the fuel pump is out, so I got to get that going for him, but it's going to be easy. All right, got the back seat taken out of it. Um, this future plans for this guy. Some aftermarket headlights, something with halos on it. That's what attracted me to BMWs in the first place. Gotta knock that little dent out. My wife tried to help me push my car in when my fuel pump went out with her X5. So that's her baby right there. So that's gonna be easy knockout. I'm not trying to really track ready this car so much as I just want a nice street car. So I think I'm gonna keep it on these factory 16s. Let's throw some low profiles on it. Uh, I, already, I painted them white. I'm going to have to go over them again, but I like the white up against the silver. I'm going to wrap the carp, the hood, because, like, again, I'm, I'm not really worried about weight. It's, this is not going to be a track car. I'm not going to be street racing or anything like that. So I'm just going to wrap the hood in carbon fiber material, carbon fiber wrap. Do the same with my deck lid. I'm going to have to get another deck lid so my top can come down. The top works. The top works great. But when my wife had this car, it was her car before she passed it, before she gave it to me or sold it to me, however you want to look at it. This was damaged, but the top still worked. But her slamming it down so many times, she messed up the sensor somewhere in, the, in there. So the top hasn't been down for a little over a year now. No biggie. Um, yeah, she bought this damaged too. She bought it. She got a, a steal on this thing. She bought it for $1,900 off of Craigslist from some hick town in Ohio. And, yeah, it was missing a the light then, so I'm going to need another light, another deck lid, and another bumper. Because, as you, if anybody knows, they're BMWs. This is an E36 bumper. Got it from the junkyard for like $20. Because the dumbass that she bought it from had a, I think, either a Volkswagen Jetta bumper or a Saab bumper duct taped on there and two years later I'm still trying to get this stuff off of here and a bumper was out that much with a gap all that was just gap like you could see the ground it was it and it was white the bumper was white as well so I said hey we got to make a trip to the junkyard because it's everything's looking good except for that back end and the back end still tore up you know but I'm working I'm working on it I'm working on it but yeah, this is my baby. I love this look. I love this car. It's my first BMW. I've had nothing but Japanese cars, so I'm really into like the mod modified cars and tuner cars. So I've been pretty much not even. I actually a lot of cars, like a couple of cars I had, I didn't know. I fell into the category of a ricer. So when I found that out, I was like, oh, it didn't really so much matter to me, but I kind of jumped out of that and started starting to do like more performance mods and, you know, not so much as like making it look like a race car, but just, you know, just getting more performance things going, popping with it. I started my interior, as you can see, it was factory black. But it was boring, so I dipped it in red. It's called Ferrari red, but I call it Pyru red. <laughs> Got me a fire extinguisher mounted right here in the in the middle, right here, because I want to protect my investment. You no, know, I work on my car myself. I do majority of everything myself, so anything goes wrong with this thing, I want to be able to save it. You no, know, like I said, it's my baby. As you can see, I got the back seat taken out so I can get the 
fuel pumps together in there. Like I said, it's not going to be hard at all. Not at all to get those fuel pumps in and out. You always keep a fire extinguisher in my car. And I suggest anybody who doesn't know that much about cars to always keep a fire extinguisher around because you never know. Um, I've been around cars long enough. I didn't. I was self-taught pretty much, you know. Then I taught. Then I learned from a lot of mechanics and auto techs about, you know, other little things. But as far as cosmetic, you know, I self-taught. I just got a gift for it. Um, never did it. I'm actually going to school right now for auto body. But I just want to paint. I don't care less about doing auto body. Only auto body I'm going to do is on my cars, you know. But yeah, this is my baby. I don't know if you can see that carbon fiber wrap right there. Got it right there too on that emergency brake handle. Took my radio out because my car has been sitting for like two and a half weeks and I don't trust anybody. You know, I don't have a fence in my yard. So, and I've caught a couple of people with just roaming through my yard. You know, had to chase them out. That's another story. Police were called. But, as you can see, I'm not in jail because you know, I won't be making this video. <laughs> Threw some white mesh, painted mesh in there. I might go over that in red, actually. But, yeah, I took the grill. The grill is actually in my garage. I, it was chrome like my wife's hair. I didn't like it. It sucked. It just didn't flow with what I wanted. It was too luxury and I'm not a luxury type of car type of guy so let's pop this hood and see little things I've done I uh, painted this vent red right here so when you look at the top part of the hood it's actually red this flows with the rest of the car um, did a lot of this stuff red you know my engine bay is going to be red it's pretty much just red black and chrome or whatever k and filter. Um, got my windshield wiper reservoir mounted with, um, this is actually a bandana. Just cut up into the shape and just mount it with some spray mount. And it worked pretty well. Um, I got it, you know, trimmed up and everything, so nothing to catch fire or anything, nothing to get over this way. So it's all safe. I even got a little peek little piece like a skull on a oil cap right here just a little just a little swag I plan on putting a little bit of that I have some more I'm just gonna wrap around here right now till I get me a turbo I'm thinking about a turbo I don't know I'm not sure this is a straight six so I don't know and if you guys got any you know suggestions or whatever let me know like I said I'm not trying to do a track car so a lot of the mods you know just I just want to keep it simple like I said I just want a street rod pretty much that you know you know do, do a little pill out you know at the stoplight something like that it's a little show off you know but mostly cruise around as far as my exhaust oh I'm gonna get a strip bar too so I get the corners a little bit better I mean, I like the way that this hugs the corners now, but, you know, I just want to make sure that it stays that way. Um, the other mods I want to do for this are going to be an exhaust. I'm going to fabricate my own exhaust because there's nothing like fabricating your own stuff for your hobbies. And, you know, it's just so much better. You can go and get all this stuff off of eBay and you know pay out pay this money out on eBay and everything but you can get something so much better for the same price or cheaper if you just pretty much fabricate your own stuff that's what I do and I mean as you can see like I, I made a bracket for my 
see right there from my uh, fire extinguisher mounted some of the, some ornament uh, material for as far as the um, the bandana material right there on my armrest pretty much there's little things like that you know I haven't got I, I forgot to show you but I'll go back in here and show you but I have a remote for my CD player so I even put some velcro right here and I had on and on the back of my CD player there's velcro too you know it's just little small things like that you know that's just cosmetic modifications but you know like there's other things you know that like I said like my air filter for example I could have got a cold air intake but hell, why not drill holes into my inner wheel well and do what I just did with the K&N? And it works just as fine. I mean, this thing, that thing screams, man. I got some fog lights that I'm going to, some new fog lights I'm going to put down there. And I'm going to cut all of this stuff out. All this is going to be cut out. Throw some mesh in there. New fog lights and everything. Um, throw a lip on there because I'm going to lower it down. I'm going to slim it. Probably like an inch and a half. I think that'll be enough because it's already sitting low. And yeah, I mean, I probably have like, and I'm not going to decal it up like a lot of people decal their cars up. And that's what make that's kind of what puts you in the category of a ricer too. You put all those damn stickers and decals on your car. I mean, I'm not going to do too much. I'll probably do like one or two more. I might not, I might not even keep this. I might take this off and put another one up there. I'm definitely going to have a window banner for my uh, magazine when I'm getting started, but other than that, it's, I'm just going to keep it clean and simple. I'm going to clear everything out. These, if I can find some clear side markers, I'll do that. I'm definitely getting these cleared out right here. Uh, tail light's going to be cleared out too, Euro style. So I'm just going to keep the 16s. If I go up any bigger it's gonna, it's gonna be 17s i'm not into the big rim thing like that's that's for you know that's for people trying to show off and everything i'm just doing this for fun i just i love this i love doing stuff like this and i'm not a stunner so i ain't got to worry about it you know i'm married and even if i wasn't married before i was married i still did this type of stuff for fun i had an acura integra 1992 acura integra loved it um so you know Sold it for $2,500. Only bought it for fifteen. dollars Did some mods to it. Sold it for 2500 And, you know, the rest is history. But, yeah. This is my baby. I'll call him Bullet. And, hopefully you guys will subscribe. And stay tuned for some more adventures with Bullet. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Keep it popping, people. Talk to you later.